Naima from You Do It Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fall wreath for your door. So I have everything here, like I said before, and I'm not going to cover the whole entire wreath. Just enough where maybe like a half or a quarter of the wreath is uh, is showing. And uh, what I'm going to use for my base is I'm going to find some uh, some greenery. That's one thing that I don't have here on this table. Uh, I'm going to get that and I'm going to start with my greenery. Okay, when you're done, your wreath will look something like this. Uh, I have all my little uh, fill-ins in place, how high that I want it. It's, I would say about three quarters of the wreath is filled with uh, greenery. So now I'm going to use the fall leaves. They're very cute. Um, I already cut them out. So I think it's pretty much just placing them where I need them to be. Some of them I still have to cut like the, uh, the ends. Never cut your flowers too short. When you're cutting them off the stem, the stem that comes from the store, cut it from the base, please, because once you start placing them places, you might need a longer stem, and you already cut the stem off, and now you have to use the floor tape to put it back together. So to alleviate all that, leave it on there until you're ready to actually place it down on your project. And after you're done, Putting in all your full leaves, this is what your wreath should look like. Something similar to this. I think it's turning out pretty well. But we're not finished yet. We have to add some more little stems, floral stems in the, the floral piece. I want my wreath to be very full looking and very interesting. So I'm not done. So I think next. I'm going to use the actual flowers here. I have some nice cute little flower, little pom-poms, and uh, I'm going to place them here and there. I think it looks great with just the uh, the fall leaves, but I'm going to keep going and see see what happens. Okay, and after you get finished putting in your floral pieces. This is what the finished, not the finished product, but this is what your project should look like so far. I mean, everybody's project is going to be a little different. Um, I chose for mine to be fuller. You can make yours fuller if you want to. So I left this part, a quarter of it, unfinished. So I'm going to be able to hang it on a door. Um, maybe put a big bow at the top uh, would be very pretty. Uh, I just have one more, couple more things to do to this arrangement before we're finished. I picked up these little floral little stems here that actually stick out from the the wreath. It, it just gives a little bit more depth or interest to our arrangement here. Okay, and now after you get finished finding places to place your little floral stems, this is what my wreath looks like now. You see I have all my flowers in place and you basically work it in steps. You start with your base, which was with my greenery. I started with the leaves, um, which was the greenery or leaves as well, but you know, it just it's just a fill-in like I said. And I used the fall leaves on top of those and I used the floral, the little pom-poms here, and I just added in some little floral picks. Um, here and there and just to fill in some of the, the gaps. Now what I'm going to do is I bought this cute little bird to go on my reef. And Okay, now that I have the bird, I'm going to turn this around so you can actually see what I'm doing here. So here's, the, I've determined that this is the center of my arrangement. And here's the wire. So what I'm going to do is there's a nice perfect branch right here in the center. So I'm going to use this branch and I'm just going to wrap this branch with the wire that I have my bird on. 
this is what the finished product looks like. A nice beautiful fall wreath for your door. And it didn't take us that long to make it. Remember I said organization is key because I could have been here a whole lot longer. But it doesn't take that long. You'll be done in a day or less than a day, maybe like an hour if you're really pushing it and you really know what you want. So you can do this yourself. You don't have to go to the store and spend a hundred dollars. I would say I spent maybe about twenty dollars for all the materials for this project. And you can do this project yourself. If you already have, of course it would be a lot more money if you don't have like the glue gun and the glue sticks because they it is extra and the wire. But if you have all these items, you can make this yourself. You don't have to spend a million dollars for your home to look beautiful. I'm Naima from You Do It Crafts. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.